Hi everybody, it is Monday morning, the start of a new week, and for the outfit of the day work week, last week as you'll hear throughout the video that it was dressed as a teacher that was submitted by one of our viewers as a challenge, which it was because there is no one way of teacher dresses, but in my head from when I was in school, it always seemed that they had cardigans and like straight skirts and pants and so I did what I could do and Debbie submitted one as well. And um, this week it's a short week because I am going to Disney World with my grandkids on Wednesday. So it will only be a couple of outfits and it's do wear whatever the heck we wanna wear. So um, that's this coming up week. So, and I will film some of my outfits in Disney World too just to submit it to you guys to see how I dress casually as well if you're interested. So uh, enjoy, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, this is my first day, um, my Monday outfit that I put back on at Debbie's house because I forgot to film it. So this is, and, and I did not wear these shoes. I had on brown pumps, but I didn't bring them with me. Uh, this is from The Loft, and this is just a brown uh, little skirt, little tie. And then I put it in, um, it's kind of like a lime green sweater. I'm not sure, but this is also from the loft. And I threw it on with a beige uh, tank. So uh, to me, this looks like a school teacher. So there you go. Okay, this is day two of teacher week. And I don't mean to offend any teachers out there, but this is my version in my head what t I think teachers would wear. So today I have on, well, I'll start at the bottom. So these are my new mules that I got out of my Stitch Fix box just last month. And then I put it on with a pair of these brown, um, stretchy Raffaella pants that I received either in Stitch Fix or Natalie Attire. Not sure. Um, and this is just a black sleeveless wrap top. Um, leopard top from Joe Fresh Company. And then I threw it on with a lightweight cardigan that I got from Stitch Fix, some brown jewelry. And then I also put on a little, just a beige tank underneath it, a camisole, so, you know, cause this is. <laughs> so there you go, there's day two. Okay, so Cindy wanted us to, now that I'm working, Cindy wanted me to um, wear clothes that she thinks a teacher would wear. And I think it depends on the kind of teacher because there's so many different genres of teachers. So I'm thinking of myself as maybe an elementary school teacher with little <laughs> kids and I'll be bending and all this stuff. So I think instead of wearing like dresses and skirts, I wore a very comfortable pair of shoes. They are, um, they're a brand of um, Skechers Bobs. They have the memory, so they're so wonderful. These are the best shoes I own. Uh, most comfortable, not the best, but, and then I just threw on a pair of gray jeans and then a, um, uh, a blouse from Stitch Fixed. It's 41 Hawthorne, which I really like. And then I threw, just if it got chilly or it's cold or whatever, these are the cutest little, um, vests right now. I found it at Walmart for $10. They have them in black, blue, gray. I wish I would have had it in like a cream color, but so anyway, that's my first teacher outfit. Day four of dressing like a teacher and so today I am a Ronald McDonald teacher uh, in McDonald's University. So <laughs> what I wore, I'll start from the bottom up. These are my brand new red suede boots that I got from Macy's last act sale. I think they were $26. These are yellow pants from Eloquii that I got a year and a half ago. And then I threw it on with just a white shirt that I had in my closet forever. And then this is just a little leopard seersucker tank top, or a tube top kind of, that I got from my Meyer grocery store for $3.74. And then this is my red sweater. You guys probably remember it from Stitch Fist. There you go, my Ronald McDonald outfit.